video I'm going to show you guys how I edited this picture to have the pattern texture overlay outline type of look. I used my iPhone, it was super quick and easy, so I hope you will stay tuned. Hey you guys, welcome back. My name is Lindy, if you're new here, hi, what's up? So here's some backstory on me. I love Instagram, I love posting pictures with fun edits, yada yada. I have gotten some questions about one of my edits, which I will insert up here on the screen, about how I did that and I did it in Pixar. I do a ton of edits in Pixar. I wanted to make a video about how I did that edit, but then I was like, oh, I should just make an entire Pixar video, but then that just becomes like a lot. So I'm gonna do like Pixar installations, maybe, I don't know. This is like my episode one of how I edit in Pixar for this type of edit. I don't even know what to call it, like overlapping texture, I don't know. I'm gonna show you guys, hopefully pretty quickly, how I do that. If you are not following me on Instagram, I will of course link it in the description as well as put it up on the screen. You should definitely hit me up over there. Also, it has been snowing for like over a day straight pretty much now and it's still snowing. I feel like I live in Canada. I don't know, I'm in Illinois, so let's just go ahead and get started. So I've opened up Pixar and then I press the little plus and I click on the picture that I want to edit. You will just scroll over to where it says add photo. I have saved some textures or patterns um, from Pinterest. You should probably use patterns that you have either a, created or textures that you've taken pictures of yourself or that are like uncopyrighted free to edit for use pictures not from Pinterest because I don't feel like that's ethical um, but for this demonstration that's what I've done go ahead and click on add photo and then the first one I'm gonna do is this marbly pattern so I just make this like kind of go around my body if you can see <laughs> all right just kind of like line it up with me and then I will grab the eraser tool up here at the top, make it a really big eraser, zoom out and just quickly erase the whole thing. So then I'm gonna click on the brush instead of the eraser and I'm gonna do the hardness and opacity of that all the way up and I'm gonna make the size pretty small. And I didn't want this texture to go all the way around my body. It could if you wanted it to. I just wanted it to be on one side of my body. I don't know why, I just felt that. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and try my best, a little bit bigger, to outline my body with that marble texture. And if some of it's on you, that's okay. We can fix that. Just kind of roughly go around the shape of your body or whatever it is that you're outlining. Sorry if my voice sounds a little rough. I'm a little sick. So, zooming out. So that's about right. I'm gonna click on the eraser and just go in there. And if you drew on yourself in any place, just um, use the eraser to kind of clean it up. So you wanna give that the perfect line against your body. I will put on my hair. There we go. So then you would click OK and then you click Apply and there's your one texture. So there's other ways of doing this I'm sure but that's just the way I know or that I do. So then next up I'm going to grab the zebra print texture that I saved to my phone, make it about the size of my body, angle it if you want, grab the eraser, make the eraser big, do the same thing with the brush and just follow along all that marble and try to kind of keep the same shapes and contours. I'm just kind of doing this roughly so I mean if I was going to post this I would do <laughs> hopefully a little bit neater job. All right so there's that layer. Click the check mark, click apply, and then lastly just add the last picture which for me I just did this picture of water. Do every step that you just saw me do. So. Let me just do that real quick. Alrighty, so there you have it. That is how I do the little like texture outline or overlap edit. I hope this was educational. I will be doing some more videos like this about how I do different edits and picks up. So yeah, definitely subscribe if you enjoyed that or would like to see more. Alright, thanks guys. Bye. See ya. Stay warm. Stay warm if you're in a climate like I am right now. <laughs>